Kini hindi kini ang sumuot tamis. Section four ko tamis. Section four question thirty one to forty. Fakat kina one word only dish. Fakat kina bata social sumuot kaya noise and cities. Yani siya karlar tigye shocking. Part research kusas mo kumas noise map mo kumpas tigye. Problems caused by noise mukum, if what people want in understanding sounds is an art form haqada mukum Chunki o shilana alakta emphasis bulan Oz gina pauza ta shab, gapar shab, o shilana mukum mukum la Shows that the highest noise levels are usually found on roads Chunali, don't show other source of noise when windows are open, people's neighbors are in their In their location mula da mukum da Wa shunyi chuna, bu menem che, in their houses I don't know have made people realize that the noise is a uh, issue that must be dealt with. A uh, uh, interesting, a uh, uh, bad issue. Bo sfat bolad. A bad issue, a uh, serious issue, a uh, concerning issue. Shaka sfat bolad. Problems that is caused by noise increasing the amount of stress effect on the of school children. They make sleep disturbance. Nema bolad. School children nema sigiye ta sar kalsh mukun. Performance bolish mukun kati ekhtamari bilan chunki akademitski ozuna kanaqash dawat kandige kati effect bolad bar bolish kirek performance bolish mukun stability bolish mukun qasasan ish naqa naam bolada menu cha performance ki bashun gosha sozla shun gyaqan sozla different types of noise chunali some noises can be considered pleasant for example sound of a in town baza bar tovishlar baza bar shogullar Pleasant, yani yaqimli bo'lishi mumkin. Masalan, shahardagi nimanidir ovozi, bilmayman. Odam bo'lishi mumkin. Sound of a another object. To investigate the researchers may use the method from sciences. For example, questionnaires. Demak, shuna qanaqadir science. Exact science bo'lishi mumkin, social science bo'lishi mumkin, psychological science bo'lishi mumkin, qanaqadir sifat bo'ladi bu. Plenty of activity in urban areas which are but also allow people to relax. Demak, shunda sifat bo'lish aniq. Plenty of activity, urban activity, urban environments which are busy, noisy, terrible. Shnaka sozlar. But architecture, architects and town planners don't get much something in acoustics. Nima bol chumkun. Architect leva town planner da acoustic leva chumkun. Nima omayda. Don't get much education, information, insight. Shnaka kyap leva bol adabo. We need to know how sound relates to... Bağlıq art bol üçün qon, music bol üçün qon. Bilməyəm. Aesthetics bol üçün qon. Qısqası, qana qalıb sound anın ki bağlıq, nəmək yətir bağlıq. Whether physics can help us understand the of sound. Demək, fizika bizə ki, anonu, soundu nəməsindir özgər, orqan tadımı yox mu? O üçün ərsə. E virtual reality programs, current disadvantage, they are sifat. Expensive, busy, noisy, uncomfort, uncomfort, uncomfortable. Şuna qa sözlər. Bu ol şəxtəm olu cəyəm kətdik. Yəni ki, fəqət nə eşləmizdə, səhələ ki, cəvablarına top olamız. Şuna qalıb, analiz qalıb çıxışın yəni gəriyə həmə qısımda. Çünki şuna qa analiz qalıb gələrində, sədə yaxşıraq bal oluşların, yəni uşa sözlərinə doğru uşla oluşların əxtəmalı aşadı. Alex, shout up. Shout up. Science of a c- carefully and answer questions thirty one to forty. Let's go. This lecture will be about the science of acoustics, the study of sound in relation to urban environments such as cities. As an acoustic engineer myself, I think this is an area where we're likely to see great changes. In the past, researching urban soundscapes was simple. We measured levels of sound in decibels. So I used to take my sound meter and I measured the noise somewhere. And then I might ask a sample of people to say at what level the sound became annoying. With data like this, acoustic engineers have been able to build up what we call noise maps, maps of the sound environment. But actually, these aren't a lot of use. What they do show is that the highest noise levels are generally on roads. Well, that's not really very surprising. But there's quite a lot going on that these maps don't show because they can't capture the complex way that sound varies over time. So they ignore important issues such as the noise someone might hear from the open windows 
or gardens of their neighbors. And this windows or gardens of their neighbors. The talks in their gardens. Neighbors are in their gardens. 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 Location dedik. Location çıktı. Urgen kurgen neydi? Kana kadar job bolş kiri dedik. Ama şu an nasıl bize gördüm bir de bana gardens bol job. They ignore important issues such as uh, noise sound one may, might hear from the open windows or gardens of their neighbors. Sort of noise can be quite significant in summer. We don't have any databases on this sort of information. As well as that, these records of sound levels take no account of the fact that people vary in their perceptions of noise. So someone like me with years of working in acoustics might be very different from you in that regard. But anyway, even though these noise maps are fairly crude, they've been useful in providing information and raising awareness that noise matters. We need to deal with it. And so it's a political matter. Political matter, did a Political issue, did a Political? How it's political? They have been useful in providing information, raising awareness, raising awareness again, because not realize the synonym. Uh, the noise matters, and we need to deal with it. And so it's a political matter, job, political matter, political issue. And that's important. We need rules and regulations because noise can cause all sorts of problems. Those of you who are city dwellers know that things go on 24 hours a day. So city dwellers often suffer from interrupted sleep. It's also known that noise can lead to a rise in levels of stress due to physical changes in the body affecting the composition of the blood. And there are other problems as well. For instance, if school children don't have a quiet place to study, their work will suffer. Their Now, work will suffer affects on the work that the performance can happen. So performance can happen. The work will suffer the class of job. If school children don't have a quiet place to study, their work will suffer job. The effect on the work of school children. One problem with decibel measurement is that it doesn't differentiate between different types of noise. Some types of sounds that most people would probably think of as nice and relaxing might well score quite highly in decibel levels. Think of the sound made by a fountain in a town square, for example. Fountain in a town square, for example, sound of a fountain, bullet fountain. Why? It's the sound of a fountain in town square. Some types of sounds are most people uh, that most people would probably think of as nice and relaxing might well score quite highly in decibels. Think of sounds of made by a fountain in a town square, for example. That's not something that we'd want to control or reduce. So maybe researchers should consider these sorts of sounds in a, for example. For example. Get the That's not necessarily something that we'd want to control or reduce. So maybe researchers should consider these sorts of sounds in urban design. This is going to be tricky because just measuring decibel levels isn't going to help us here. Instead, many researchers are using social science techniques. Studying people's emotional response. Social science techniques. The answer is response questionnaire. The social. At the end social world. The question is going to be about the vocabulary. The this this topic. The only one who has the most knowledge about it. Who? 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 Studying people's emotional response to sound using questionnaires and so on. Such job, social science, bo also not bo. Agar kiriyam bo sila, artikulo ko yurgam bo sila, yiktawa ko yurgam bo sila, bo anak bo. Kiri mo mida. Sorry, job tops. To sound by using questionnaires and so on. So what exactly do people want to hear in an urban environment? Some recent interdisciplinary research. Has come out with results that, at first sight, seem contradictory. A city needs to have a sense of activity, so it needs to be lively, with sounds like the clack of high heels on a pavement. Lively, environments which, which are lively. Well, in the towns, which are also relaxing, it needs to be lively. 
or the hiss of a coffee machine. But these mustn't be too intrusive, because at the same time, we need to be able to relax. One of the major problems in achieving this will be getting architects and town planners to use the research. Apart from studying the basics of acoustics, these people receive very little training in this area. Don't get much very training, very, they get receive very little training, the job of training. Training. One of the major problems in the changes for getting extra spawn with the research and study basis because these people receive very little training in this area, job training, but but in fact, they should be regarding sound as an opportunity to add to the experience of urban living. Whereas at present, they tend to see it as something to be avoided or reduced as far as possible. Or something that's just a job for engineers, like the street drainage system. What's needed is for noise in cities to be regarded as an aesthetic quality. As something that has the qualities of an art form. If we acknowledge this, then we urgently need to know what governs it and how designers can work with it. We need to develop a complex understanding of many factors. What is the relationship between sound and culture? What how sounds related to relates to culture? Did it? What's the relationship to uh, paraphrase? Culture. How sound relates to culture to the job? We need to develop a complex understanding of many factors. What is the relationship between sound and culture? Job, culture. Can we learn from disciplines such as psychology about the way that sound interacts with human development and social relationships and the way that sound affects our thoughts and feelings? Can we learn anything from physics about the nature of sound itself? Oh, about the nature of sound itself, the nature of the job. Nature of sound itself. Yeah, can we learn anything from physics about the nature of sound itself? Job nature. Today's powerful technologies can also help us. To show us their ideas and help us to imagine the effect their buildings will have, architects and town planners already use virtual reality. But these programs are silent. In the future, such programs could use realistic sounds, meaning that soundscapes could be explored before being built. So hopefully, using the best technology we can lay our hands on... They're silent, Dida. They're silent. Architects are using virtual red, but these programs are silent, but disadvantage. In the future, the job and advantage is to protect the effects of building. The first thing is that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. If you have a lot of people who are living in the world, you can see the world in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world.